today to talk to you a little bit more about my newfound love and obsession with thimbles. Ever since I got my thimble from Thimbles For You and I realized how comfortable, functional, and beautiful a thimble can be, I have a newfound appreciation for hand sewing. Who would have thought? Hand sewing is literally one of those things that I dreaded doing. I would do anything, figure out any kind of magical way to avoid hand sewing in my projects as much as possible, including just like skipping hemming or the dreaded just do a top stitch no one will ever see and then later on down the road you're like you know i really wish i would have hand sewn that it would have been so much prettier um but i've talked to you guys already about um thimbles for you and specifically the styles of thimbles that jan has there's four different styles depending on how you use your thimble whether you use the top of your finger the pad of your finger the side of your finger whatever it is um, she has a specific thimble style for that kind of thimble user. Really, really great. Today, I want to talk to you guys about fit. So there is such a thing as thimble size. Obviously, whenever you buy the little dimpled bucket that comes prepackaged at like any craft store, that is a one size fits all option. It's a little bit like buying Crocs for your feet <laughs> where maybe, maybe there's like a small, medium, large situation, but we all don't fit into small, medium, large. Some of us have, you know, feet that are in between those sizes. Some of us have wider feet, narrower feet. The same thing applies to your fingers, just like your feet and your toes. And so Jan does sizes for her thimbles and Finding the right size for your finger is so, so, so important. First of all, obviously, it needs to be comfortable. If your thimble is just like wobbling around and you can't get any control over it, how are you going to be able to control your hand sewing and control that needle? On the other side of that, if the thimble is too small and it's like shoved onto your finger, well, guess what? That gets painful after a while. And then you just literally cannot do your sewing because it hurts too much. So getting the right size of the circumference of your finger is the first step. Jan will have you, when you place an order with her, she will have you tape a little piece of paper around your finger, clip, clip that paper off and measure its length. That's how she knows how wide around the circumference of your finger is. But that's not it because we also have finger length, right? Some of us have longer nail beds. Some of us have shorter nail beds. Some of us keep a fingernail long. Some of us keep our fingernails super, super short. So you may have a kind of like shorter, wider finger. You may have a long, narrow finger, whatever it is. Um, that needs to be addressed as well because if you have a lot of air in between your finger and the end of the thimble, again, there's no control. You're, it's less likely that you're able to really use the tip of that thimble, especially if you use the side of it, that thimble is going to keep coming off and coming loose over and over and over again. Not to mention have you ever been sewing with a thimble and then your finger gets really sweaty? That is a result of all that air kind of circulating around in there. No way, no, nobody likes that. Um, so Jan will have you take some pictures. Again, when you place your order, you'll do the paper thing for the circumference. And then you'll also lay your hand down flat and take some pictures of that as well. So she can see kind of the shape of your finger, how long your nail bed is, how long your fingernails are and all of those kinds of things. So she has this video evidence that kind of helps her as the expert, as someone who has seen hundreds, if not thousands of fingertips, Jan can look at your fingers and tell what kind of thimble, what style of thimble you need and about what size you are. Okay. Then she'll start to ask you some questions about the type of sewing that you're doing. If you have any blisters on your finger or if like, you know where your finger hurts after you've been hand sewing for a while, that will tell Jan 
where you push the needle up through the fabric, whether it's the tip, the pad, the side. And again, that will help her determine which style of thimble is going to be best for you. There's no point in getting a thimble that is open on the top if you use the top of your finger to push that needle through. So given all of that information, Jan is going to kind of assess every all the information that you have given her. She's going to ship you several different thimbles. These are going to be different sizes and different styles. You are encouraged to wear them, like wear them around the house. You're encouraged to use them and see if the style is really right for you and it's hitting, you know, it's covering where you, you know, push the needle through. And then there's going to be a variety of designs in there as well. So you're able to kind of like try it before you buy it, find a size that works really great for you. You keep what you want and you send everything back. Um, if there's, if for whatever reason it doesn't work out, you just go through that process again. She'll send you a whole bunch more. You'll kind of tell her what you didn't like about the original shipment and then she'll ship you out some more. And I mean, I can't imagine you having to go through that process very many times because Jan is so good. But if you did, of course, she would make sure that it was right and that you have a thimble that fits. You have a thimble that you love using, that's comfortable, that works really well, that happens to be beautiful because did I mention Jan is a silversmith so she actually designs all of these beautiful beautiful thimbles that are intended to kind of be heirloom pieces that you can pass down generation to generation and the idea of you sewing something with your hands passing it down to someone that you love who is also then interested in sewing and then them sewing something with their hands I don't know that whole idea of like everything coming around full circle just feels so beautiful to me maybe it's like because it's springtime I don't know but I'm just feeling like that is just such a beautiful beautiful thing to be able to do for yourself but also for you know the future generations of sewists that we have out there so if you have a current thimble maybe you bought it at a craft store maybe you got it somewhere else but if it doesn't fit it's not comfortable and you don't like using it, it doesn't have to be that way. Jan can fix it for you, I promise. I am a convert. I am someone who hated hand sewing and now it's not so bad. I mean, it's still great, not my favorite thing to do, but I don't dread it and I think that that is all we can ever hope for, right? Um, so I hope that you will check the description box. I have a link down there for you on um, how to get to Jan's website, Thimbles For You. Head on over there, do your thing with Jan. I cannot wait for you to get a thimble that you really, really love. Jan is gonna take great care of you, I promise, and get you a thimble that you absolutely love. But that is gonna do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye.